Man, so I got the falafel plate. I have a lot of meat this week, so we're just gonna stick with the falafel plate. Vegetarian edition. Moving up in the world. We got a little, they're so organized here, I will say. They already prep you. Okay, so we're gonna prepare this and then I'm gonna come back. So I realize I haven't talked to you guys about anything philosophical or eye opening as of late. And as usual, I've been thinking a lot. And I'm trying to like dig my head out of the past. Well, these memories just come back and they haunt me. haunting memories but just like random things that come to mind that I want to talk to you guys about mm. I just want to talk about insecurities um this is coming from my perspective as a female so I can't speak for anybody else but I realized, you know, I call myself a middle-aged woman. I'm not middle-aged yet. I don't know where I got that from, but I was talking to my neighbor and she said that we were middle-aged because we're both 35. It's not middle-aged. But as somebody who's in their mid-30s now, reflecting back on my Felicia freaking hoe-ass days of just being a dumb bitch and learning for my mistakes like I'm still a dumb bitch sometimes but now I'm looking back and I really like just try and feel compassion for myself and forgiveness for myself for being such a thirsty bitch when it comes to friends and relationships I briefly mentioned that you know I have my I've had not so much present day but I've had my string of like relationships and friendships and a lot of times people try and ask me like what went wrong with those or like what was your experience like, I feel like the theme of this channel is like not the theme, but you know, I've I've talked about it a lot of like not having friends. People are like, why don't you have friends? Like, okay, yes, I have friends, but I have put up strong boundaries and made serious like cut of ties just to protect my energy. I'm protecting those people too, because God knows what you know, it works both ways. But I've realized that a lot of the insecurities that I've ever experienced, that I still do experience, but not as much as I did when I was a teenager, figuring myself out, a woman in her 20s, like, just trying to navigate life. I 
as a woman in society, I never became aware enough to become insecure about something about myself until somebody else pointed it out. Think about it. And most of those times, the people who point those things out or have pointed those things out were people I at one point considered friends. Here's what I have to say. Common sense, whatever you want to call it. To my young ones who are just trying to figure out life. Of course, I get cut off right when I'm about to say something really important. But for those of you trying to navigate life, if the people in your closest circles are putting you down, not just once, not just, tw not just twice, like constantly putting you down, even if they're your family members, please reevaluate. Mm -mm. Like for me growing up, I was always like a really cute kid. But I did hit like a nerdy stage like an awkward stage and and then I came into like you know I caterpillared into a butterfly again but so I never really got picked on too much as a kid but once I hit puberty once I started becoming a young woman is when people would you know start fat shaming me or saying something about my looks or you no know, you have this oh what's that oh you walk weird uh that's like some shit you know and honestly like those are obviously the most insecure people who have to point out your insecurities in order for them to feel better about themselves and that's not a friend okay and when you tell them off they tell you oh i'm just kidding can't you take a joke that's been like the basis of i don't want to say my whole life but a good portion of my life and luckily I don't really have a lot of those people in my life anymore, but I understand that sometimes like you can't avoid it, whether or not it's a family member or a coworker. But just know that those people are on some bullshit and are just straight up haters. And then, you know, people are like, well, what would I be hating on? Blah, blah. You fucking tell me because Especially if you ain't done shit to them or whatever. It's just, I don't know. I'm just projecting and I'm talking from my experience. And just a lot of things that I was never aware about. I was never insecure about until somebody else pointed it out. And if people are looking that closely to you, they're just looking for flaws. You know, and the truth is nobody's perfect so i don't know i'm just glad that i am the age that i am now because i couldn't even imagine growing up and being surrounded by things like tiktok and just the way social media is advancing i don't think I would have been able to handle it mentally, you know?
So, I remember my first friend, she turned her back on me once I had a boyfriend, which was strange. It was very, like, out of nowhere, 180. And, like, it wasn't one of those situations where, like, she wanted to be with that person. She was just upset. I don't even want to throw the word jealous. Just, like, I was growing up and she was kind of letting, like, getting left behind. Even though she's married now, has kids, whatever. But she just became an enemy on her accord overnight. That was my, from my perspective, at least. And she wrote a really nasty note about me that I don't know what was said or like what rumors were spread, but she got caught. Nothing ever really happened, but the teacher's like, yo, go go to the principals, you know? But this was when Zanga was around. I don't know if you guys remember Zanga, but it was just a social media site that was like a wannabe MySpace kind of, kind of at the same time that MySpace was around. So this was like 2003 shit, 2002. So even though the internet has been around, it was just starting to get utilized more and more. At least socially, you know. Somebody was like bullying the fuck out of me on there. Saying really mean, hurtful things like just really foul shit. And I forgot what my parents did, but somehow they got the authorities involved and they tracked the IP address. Mind you, this is like the beginning of everything, so I didn't even know they could do that. And they tracked it coming from this bitch's house, pretty much. But they didn't do anything. Or at least I don't I don't know if they did because it was dying down but it had like stopped then. But it was crazy to think that that's <laughs> that's who was doing it, you know. I'm sure y'all have stories about friends who turn into enemies who like start to bully you online like that's a pussy ass move you know out of all the effed up shit I've ever done I can honestly say that I've never like spread hate online ever like even if I had an opinion I wouldn't take the time and energy to like log in and give my two cents to something, you know? Unless it was good, like positive, you know? I'm not saying that to seem all high and mighty. I'm just saying I never, I, I know what it's like to be in the opposite end of that, so why would I do that to somebody else when it hurts me, you know? Treat people how you want to be treated. Honestly, I feel like a lot of my issues when it comes to friends, that was a starting point. That was like the proximate 
cause of like the downfall. I'm so crazy. You never know the impact you can have on somebody even years later by your actions and your words. Myself included. So please be nice out here. Please be kind. And please be nice out here. Please be kind. And if there's something that you want to change about yourself, change it. But don't take out your insecurities on other people just because you don't like yourself. Don't try and make other people not like themselves. Period. Simple. <sighs> All right, y'all. Thank you for joining me. We're just left with rice and bread, so be out here.